What's up babes, today is upper body day and I'm ready to tighten, tone and sculpt your arms today. As well, adding a little bit of some dancing in between to have some fun with it. So all you're gonna need is grab some dumbbells and yourself and that's all you need. We're gonna go ahead and start with a warm up. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm just gonna have you step, tap, step, tap. We'll get the legs down first and then we'll go ahead and get the upper body going so that way we're all nice and warmed up. So here we go, jump in with me, step, tap. You move your body, the endorphins starting to come. Feeling happier and healthier every day. Great work, after that I'm gonna have you plant your feet and then I'm just gonna have you move your hips. Slightly bend your knees so that way you can move your hips back and forth. And then the last part is you're gonna plant the one foot and then you're gonna go ahead and move the other one around and bring it. Bring it around and in. We'll get the hips down, don't you worry. And then the other side, bring it around, bring it around. So you're basically just pivoting that one foot. That is it, now let's go ahead and get the arms involved. You ready? So step, tap, step, tap. You're gonna bring the arms into a circle. And then now, go ahead and reverse. Next, go ahead and drop into those knees. Bring those hips out. What I have you do is just open, close. Open, close. Great. And now into our pivot, go ahead and bring your arms down and up. Down, up. Other side. Now grab your dumbbells. Go ahead and work the front of the arms, the biceps. So we're gonna go into a conventional curl where your palms are facing up, your elbows are glued into your side, your knees are slightly bent and your core is nice and tight. When you go into your conventional bicep curl, you wanna stop here, not all the way up here. You're gonna lose the contraction. So stop right here and then go all the way back down. We have a total of 10. Beautiful job. Next after that, we're gonna go into a hammer curl. So you're gonna go all the way up to the top with your hammer, go about halfway down, a little tiny pivot out, bring it back in, all the way down. Let me do it again. All the way up, halfway down, just a tiny little bit out, bring it in and down. Oh man, you're gonna really feel this. Here we go, bring it all the way. Halfway, out, in, and down. You got seven more. Wow, I am really feeling the burn here. Woo. Keep going, fight that burn. Great work. Last part is you're gonna go ahead and hold for 50 seconds into a plank. You choose your modification. Maybe you're onto your knees and your elbows, maybe you're on your knees and your hands, or maybe you're into a full plank. Either one to go ahead in 50 seconds. it out. 
Okay, you ready for your dance? Here we go. Step, tap, step, tap, step, tap. Move those arms, get the blood flowing. Next, plant those hips, shake it back and forth. And spin it around, here we go. Let's now get started into the back of the arms, the triceps, so grab your dumbbell. So let's go ahead and start in tabletop position. Grabbing the, grabbing the dumbbell, go ahead and bring your elbow right up to your rib cage, and you're just gonna extend that arm straight out into a kickback. You got a total of 10 reps, keeping it nice, strong, firm. You got this, 10 reps. Same arm, because I want to burn it out a little bit more. Go ahead and lay all the way down. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a crossover where you're going to take it to the opposite shoulder and extend up. You have a total of 10. work now we're gonna go ahead and do the other arm so go ahead and flip over tabletop position and next arm So cross over to the opposite shoulder and extend. 10 reps. And of course I saved dessert for you, so let's go ahead and jump into our 50 tricep dips, that's right, you heard me, I said 50. Go ahead and set yourself up into a reverse tabletop. You're just gonna lower yourself by bending those elbows and lift up, let's go for 50 reps. was a burner. All right, here we go. Step, tap, move those arms. Get the blood flowing back. Plant those hips side to side. And turn it around. Reverse. Let's go to shoulders. All right, so let's go ahead and go into shoulder press. Bring those dumbbells up towards your shoulders, open them up, and you're gonna go into your press. And here's the thing is you want your feet about hip distance apart, knees are slightly bent, and your core is nice and tight. Bring them down to your shoulders and lift up. We got 10 reps. Breathe. Slow and controlled. Great work, let's go ahead and go into laterals. So lateral, you're gonna have a 90 degree angle so your elbows are right into your ribs as they're gonna go right up and they'll see as you parallel them with your shoulders. 
So a nice good 90 degree. Let's go for 10. Great work, let's go ahead and finish it off with 50. You heard me, your dessert. So go ahead and go into a push-up, but it's like a downward dog push-up where your booty is nice and high and you want your crown of your head going towards the ground. You have little tiny pulses, 50 reps. A modification for this, I will show you how you can actually do it against a wall and do 50 reps on a wall just leaning in towards it. You'll get a nice good burn right here. What a burn, let's go ahead and finish it off with moving our arms and into that dance, step tap. Wow, good workout you guys today, that was so much fun. Super quick, super fast, but also very effective. You might feel a little bit of some soreness and that is okay. Drop those hips back and forth, moving those arms however you want to, back and forth. Circle it out. Beautiful work, you guys. It's so important to be flexible. It's so important to be strong. And it's so important that you stay consistent. So I'll see you in tomorrow's email.